All right, guys, this is Blake, and you are listening to the Three Hand Hunter channel, and I am so happy to have you here. You know, I'm really excited actually to show you the Vostok 720. This is actually a 720 case, and this is a new release from Vostok for 2021. And this is the reason why this one's so unique is it's got a sandwich dial. Now, this isn't the first Vostok to have a sandwich dial. I've, um, I've never owned one with a sandwich dial, but this one in particular, obviously you can see how it looks very similar to a Panerai. I've actually owned a radio mirror and um, back years ago, and I really liked it. It was more when Panerai was really uh, popular, I would say about 2010, that, that, that time frame. And um, I got rid of it uh, and, you know, cycled through many watches since then, but I always really still like the style and I love the Arabic numerals of this particular watch. And it was kind of nice to see uh, a Vostok, which is obviously a homage to the Panerai. But what was really cool is the, uh, the sandwich style and actually the small seconds as well. So I thought I'd show you this particular watch because I'm going to mod it probably pretty soon and I wanted to I wanted to show it to you before I did so now um, before I do that I want to share with you that I've actually modded a lot of Vostoks they are addicting I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that out there right now if you've never owned a Vostok if you end up buying one it probably won't be your last now let's all recognize the fact that these are fairly inexpensive watches and the Russian watches, they're really, what I found is they're very tough, very reliable, um, and they're easy to, uh, to, to, to adjust the, um, adjust the accuracy if you want to go that route. And they're really easy to mod and they're a lot of fun to mod. And what you'll notice here, um, uh, actually a couple modded Vostoks that I still have, I have one, this is actually a smaller case size. This is a 39 millimeter case size. This case, this octagon case is um, not produced anymore. This is a 270 case and it is an automatic. It's not, I know some of you might look at this Vostok and think, oh, this is just a hand wound. No, not the Commodore ski. This is actually a, a, an automatic. It says 270 case. It's kind of rare, 18 millimeter lug width. Um, it's not sandwich dial. Um, this is a modded one. Actually, it came with uh, the 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 uh, the dial is like a 660 dial, I believe. Um, that's where it came from. But it's fun. It's a modded one, right? The one on my wrist. This is my favorite case shape, by the way. This is a 020 special edition from Marinome, and that's. That's where um, a lot of these Vostoks will come from. Is Marinome is the uh, uh, Vostok retailer. But what's unique about this one that I'm wearing is that this bezel that you see here, that's out of stainless steel and it's all engraved. So there's no loom pip on it. There's no loom on the, the bezel. Uh, there's, there's no separate bezel insert. It's just one hunk of metal. It's really cool. But the thing I like about the 020 case, and I'll, I'll obviously get into the other one here in a second, but I wanted to show you this. This is probably the more traditional uh, watch size. You're going to have a 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter case, 20 millimeter lug width. You know, the, the, the lug to lug is, I, I don't know, right off the top of my head, and I don't have my measuring calipers here right in front of me, but it's probably about 48 so it's a very reasonable size. And if you've ever owned some Vostoks, you know that they can be a little um, interesting as far as the case shapes go. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of some of the Vostoks that I've owned uh, throughout this video. So you can kind of see the ones that I've customized. And, but this is actually my favorite case shape, okay? But that's not the one in focus today. And by the way, this is a um, strap code um, mesh, love it. It's probably more expensive than the actual Vostok itself, but you know, that's all right. Here is the watch in question. Now, this particular watch, the things that I love about it is that really it's it's the sandwich style. It's, it's all the, the guts that I love. 
sandwich dial, it's beautiful, matte black dial, small seconds hand. You don't see that that often in, 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 in uh, the Vostok watches, okay? It is automatic, okay? The thing I do not like about this particular watch is I'm not a big fan of the case shape. This case shape, this is the 150 case. It's a cushion style case. Uh, let me talk about the diameters. It's 42 millimeter diameter, okay? Lug to lug, to lug here is 45.8, so almost 46. It wears kind of like a, like a turtle. If, if you wear Seiko's, it'd be like a Seiko turtle-ish. You know, it's a cushion style case. 22 millimeter lug width. Um, you can see the, the, the underside of the case. Really cool case back um, that came on this particular model. I, I really like it with the uh, with the uh, anchor. Now, the, the thing about this particular watch, these edges are super sharp. I mean, like to the touch, you can feel it. And if it was sitting on your wrist, you know, this is, and I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist, by the way, you know, it could, it could actually dig into your wrist, I would think, All right? Other thing I don't like about this particular watch, I know it's supposed to homage a Panerai. That's fine and dandy. I don't, I don't really care for it because I don't like the bezel that's on it. This bezel, you can actually turn it. Um, like all bezels on these, um, on these Vostoks, okay, they're, they're bi-directional. They're held on by a, a spring inside, a tension spring. And if you ever want to tighten the, the, the bezel action, you have to pull off the bezel, uh, adjust the spring, which I've gone through, you know, tens and I mean, multiples of them over the years to try to get it to be a little tighter than normal. And it tends to tighten up when you're in water. And these watches actually, they perform pretty well in water. So I, I, I don't mind swimming with them at all. Um, but this particular bezel on this model, it feels really flimsy. And I, I just want to rip it off and put on a new bezel. So what would it look like with a new bezel? Well, this is actually a cu custom bezel with, I think, a Degas um, insert, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see how that would look, right? Probably pretty cool. Or you can put on, this is a, um, I think this is from um, one of the like uh, DLC, sorry, I've moved the watch there. But you see this is a uh, ceramic bezel insert. Okay. or it's LCBI, I'm not too sure. Uh, this is an actual um, Vostok bezel that I sanded down back down to brass and let it patina a little bit, which by the way, if you've never done this with a, with a Vostok bezel, it's, it's actually pretty cool. And it, it's, a, it's a unique look when you put a bronze bezel insert on a stainless steel case, it looks pretty cool. It's a cool look. Um, that's something that I've you know, played around with in the past, but, I do want to rip this off and actually what I'd like to do is take the insides of this one out and put it into this case for the, uh, for the 020 model. Although this, uh, this dial and uh, configuration is, is still pretty classically cool. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show it to you. I, th I thought it was such a cool watch and you can't, Marinome sold out, at least for now. Uh, you have to check out their site from time to time to see if they, they have them. But, I got this from um, from a seller off of eBay and it took a couple of months to get here. So I wanted to film this really quick so I could show you before I rip it apart. <laughs> I wanted to show you what it was like. Uh, and I, you know, this leather strap, it's, I mean, nothing to write home about. It is a signed buckle though, if you can see that. A little signed buckle here well, with the B for the Bostock and, you know, we have a signed crown. See, so, you know, nice little sign crown. And by the way, it just on other SE models, like this is a, this is a SE model, you might be able to notice this. Let me see if I can show you. The crown is not as nice. It's nicer in the previous older models than in the, uh, in the, in the current models. Uh, you know, one thing I didn't talk about as well, these Vostoks have a, an acrylic crystal and I actually enjoy the, the acrylic crystal. The thickness of this watch, and I didn't even mention that, the thickness of this watch is 15.2 millimeters, but it's only 12.8 without the crystal. So the crystal obviously protrudes out in all these Vostoks, but I like the 
the uh, acrylic crystal. It gives it a very vintage type of look, and I enjoy it. So I think it's kind of fun. Um, and then plus, if you if you scratch it, you just use some poly watch and cleans it up. As long as the scratch isn't too too deep, but you know, it depends on how 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 hard you wear your watches. Um, I forgot to mention this to you. My favorite case of the Vostok cases is not one that I have currently in my collection. It's the 710 case um, of the cushion cases. I'm sorry. I, I love the 020, the, 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 this more classic or uh, conventional style one that I have here. But the 710 cushion case is actually my favorite of the cushion cases. And that's the one I'd, I wish I had one in my collection so I could take the insides of this one out and put it in in those. Uh, one other thing I should mention about Vostoks if you've never owned one, okay? The crown, um, you know, it is, everybody cites a wobbly crown. Now, whether it's by design or, or not, it's, it, it's wobbly and it feels like, oh my gosh, it's busted, but it's not. It's uh, supposed to be by design. So in case you knock the watch up against something, the crown won't go into the movement. Apparently that's what they say, but it makes it a little bit more difficult if you want to adjust the time or you know when you're when when you want to um, when you want to wind the watch, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But I, I you know I think Vostoks are very quirky and unique, and they're definite conversation starters. If you've you know one of the things about a, if you are a watch person and you're a watch collector, one of the things that I found is that most people are not. But what I've also found is if you're wearing a Vostok, it's usually a conversation starter. People that don't even like watches will be like, wow, look at that. Uh, that's a cool watch you got there. I've had a lot of people, uh, more people mention or, or comment on my watches when I'm wearing a Vostok versus any other brand, believe it or not. And um, that's, I think, one of the things that makes them so quirky and unique. And I, I think they're beautiful. I, I really do. I enjoy wearing them. What I really enjoy is actually wearing the ones like, like this one that does not have a date because when you have a date, the date is, uh, you know, difficult to change. Well, uh, it's there's no quick date set. So when you have a watch and, or, or Vostok and you want to change the date, you have to flip it over to 12. And then once the date changes, which that didn't just do. So you'd have to get to the date change, go back to nine, back over to 12. And that advances the day by one date, by uh, one, one day. Uh, so when I have a, a date version, I tend to only wear it a couple of times a month because it, it, once it gets around to the date, getting close to the date and it surpasses the date, then I advance the date and I'll wear it for a couple of days and then I'll switch it back out for something else in my collection. Is that corny? Is that a total watchaholic thing to do? Well, I think it is. And you know what? My name's Blake. I am a watchaholic. I bet you are too. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.